Hello and welcome to the uh, video for fourth grade for April the 10th. This is going to cover the homework uh, from the lesson uh, that you were working on this morning, um, assuming that you are uh, caught up on Google Classroom. So this is going to be lesson 9.7 and covering comparing decimals. So um, let's go ahead and start with number one, um, or sorry, number two. I'm going to have six tenths here compared to 60 hundredths. If I were to go ahead and add an extra zero out here at the end, we could see that both of these are going to be worth the same amount. Or I could also just drop the extra zero off the end. Uh, number four, so uh, 94 hundredths compared to 9 tenths. 9 tenths is the same thing as 90 hundredths. So 94 hundredths is going to be greater than 90 hundredths. Number six, we can use our uh, comparing um, the number of parts when they're the same size. So 45 hundredths is greater than 28 hundredths for that one. Uh, number eight, we want to use the number line. Um, so I'm going to try to see how much I can zoom in to be able to do that. Um, and I will use... Actually, I'm going to take this one. So 0.8 or um, 8 tenths would go right here. And then I would come over 2 to the left to get 78 hundredths. So this one would be true. Um, I'm going to use red for number 10. Um, so our 7 tenths would be right here. And if I do 70 hundredths, it would go in the exact same spot. So I would actually have two dots on the exact same spot. So this is not true. This would be false because we should have an equals sign for the inequality. So it should be uh, 7 tenths is equal to 70 hundredths. Now we don't have to use the um, number line, um, but I will use changing tenths to hundredths so that we can compare. Um, nine hundredths is not greater than ten hundredths. It's one less. So this one would be false. Number 14, 17 hundredths is less than 32 hundredths. 17 is smaller than 32. That is true. And that is a really weird looking R. There we go. Number 16, Kelly walks 7 tenths of a mile to school. Mary walks uh, 49 hundredths of a mile right in inequality. So we can choose which one we want to put first. I'm going to put it in the order that it shows up in the problem. And depending on which one you put first is going to change which symbol we use, which inequality symbol. So if I put this part first, this is my smaller number, I would use less than, which is going to go like this. I'm going to use greater than. If you're following the direction my mouse is going, it should look like that. So if I start with this one first, I use less than. If I start with the larger number, I use greater than. And number one on the back. So Bob, Cal, and Pete each made a stack of baseball cards. So Bob's stack was two tenths of a meter high, Cal's stack was 24 hundredths of a meter high, and Pete's stack was 18 hundredths of a meter high. Write the number of stack, uh, number sentence that compares Cal's stack of cards to Pete's. So Cal's is going to be 24 hundredths. And I'm going to start with his because we are starting by comparing Cal to Pete as far as the uh, stack of baseball cards. So 24 hundredths would be my starting point, And we are comparing to Pete, whose stack was 18 hundredths. So 24 hundredths would be greater than 18 hundredths. And that would be our, our number sentence 
uh, for that. Number uh, two, three classmates spent money at the school supply store. Mark spent five tenths of a dollar. Andre spent 45 hundredths of a dollar. And Raquel spent 52 hundredths of a dollar. Um, write a number sentence that compares what Andre spent to what Mark spent. So Andre would be 45 hundredths of a dollar or 45 cents. And uh, Mark spent 50 cents or five tenths of a dollar. And so 45 hundredths or 45 cents would be less than five tenths or 50 cents. So there are your problems for the homework for today. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free uh, to post in the comments. Again, thank you for Ali uh, being my uh, quality assurance person uh, when I accidentally make a mistake and forget to cover a problem or maybe give a wrong answer. Uh, she's been doing a wonderful job of letting me know that I need to uh, fix a mistake. So thank you again. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I know with Easter um, and things being a little bit different with maybe not being able to go to church or maybe uh, being able to have some of the family gatherings that some people do during this time of year, um, that it can be a little bit different. But I hope you have a wonderful and blessed weekend um, as we celebrate Easter uh, with our risen Christ family, um, even if we can't be together uh, face to face. So have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all on Monday.